king, Boris aid reveals what will happen to Nigerians if he will become president. Abdurrahman Sumaila, a former special assistant to President Mohamed Buhari, has disclosed that no right thinking Nigeria will vote for Igbo presidency in the coming 2023 general election. He added that Nigerians will endanger their lives if any politician from the southeastern region becomes the number one citizen of the country. Sumaila disclosed this while speaking to newsmen in Kano on Thursday. He stressed that the criminal activities in the southeast won't make Nigerians trust them to govern the country. He said, with these atrocities committed by the Southern East people on record, how can Nigerians entrust them to govern us? I am sure not a single right-thinking Nigeria will endanger his lives to support the candidature of any Southeastern politicians contesting for presidency come 2023 general election. The ex aide to President Mohamed Buhari also urged the prominent Sultanans to condemn the attack in their region, just like what the Arawa Consultative Forum and Northern Elders Forum did against the Boko people. He added, the elites in the southeast should borrow a leaf from their Northern counterparts, such as Arawa Consultative Forum and Northern Elders Forum, who have been persistently condemning the activities of Boko people fighters and bandits in the north. Recall that a group that Progressive Consolidation Group, PCG, has declared their support for the Vice President Yemi Osibajo to run for the presidency in 2023 presidential election. The group said, we are aware that some aides of Vice President Osibajo described calls for the land gentleman's involvement in the 2023 race as mere distraction. And we are also aware of the views of thoughtful Nigerians, including the Emir of Gombe, Al Haji Abubakar Shew Abubakar III, who commended Osibajo in loyalty to President Mohamed Buhari and spearheading of important reforms toward enhancing the ease of doing business enhancing ICT innovation as well as economic policies to reduce the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. President Mohamed Buhari can optimize, utilize what is currently within the administration now to build a better future by convincing the not so political professor of law to run in 2023. His candidature would be far more appealing to Nigerian youths, the sunning elders, and various sectors of the population. <laughs> My viewers, you see what we are talking about in the northern region. You see why Nnamdi Kanu is fighting assiduously and saying that no, never, we cannot remain in this country. That, see, let me tell you, these people have made up their mind that the country Nigeria belongs to them. They, they listen to them. They have said it, that they are born to rule this country. Listen to this person speaking. Listen to what he's saying, that no person in his right senses will ever think of supporting the Igbo man, an Igbo man, to come in as a president. Can you imagine? That is to say, tell you that the Igbo, in their widest dream, will never, never taste the seat of power that till Nigerian to this world will come to an end that they the northerners will continue to rule this country <laughs> and that is to tell you that we have been taken like a slave none of the canon have said it that we are slaves to these people we are slaves what else are you going to call it people that are taking a decision that never we you smell the seat of power. What else are you thinking about? What else do you think is going to happen? My dear, don't waste your time. 
Don't ever look, waste your time because these people are taking the decision on you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. You understand? You can imagine what a statement. And we still remain, we, we, we are still following them like sheep, like sheepishly. It is not normal. It is not normal at all. So, if nothing is done fast about this, I bet you, I bet you, the Northerners will, will rule this country again. And don't call Bwari a fool because he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You understand? He knows what he's doing. Let me hear from you from the outside there. Let me know what you as a person equally have to say about this situation. You understand? You see, what these Fulanese are doing, what these Fulanese are doing is what I tell you that we as Ndigo, we not, we, we, we not be, 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 uh, be tolerating or taking for granted. Our evil governors have taken too many things for granted. Our evil governors have given Bwari the, 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 the open door to come in. And that is why you see that the storm of South East at ease, even without any formal, formal, formal letter to the governor. Who are the South East governors? They are nothing to them anymore. They just come in. The, there is now a free entry and free exit of the Nigerian military. And this military happens to be the Northern men in uniform. Can you imagine? And yet, till this very moment, they haven't seen, they, they, they are not seeing anything wrong in what they are doing. Is that not crazy? Is that not? <laughs> We are lost. Absolutely lost. Let me hear from you, as I said earlier. If you're new, click on the red subscribe button as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.